Bill Nye the Science Guy. Bill Nye the Science Guy. Bill, 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 Bill Nye the Science Guy. Science rule. What's up, Jake Polioers? It's Polio. That's my common name, and if you want to know my scientific name, it's poliomyelitis. And welcome back to Mariel pretends to be a polio virus, and she needs help. Please have pity on her and subscribe. Thank you. Don't report her to the Club Penguin Police. This is a vlog video diary from the perspective of a polio. I hope you guys are all doing well today, and as you can see, today I'm uh, vlogging my first time infecting a human because I'm a virus and uh, that's what I do my common name is polio and my scientific name is poliomyelitis which <laughs> by the way comes from the Greek words for gray and marrow referring to the spinal cord and the suffix itis meaning inflammation because we might inflame your spinal cord more on that later. Before I infect anybody, I have to tell you my life story. Hi people, my squad fam, my polio gang. It's likely that we've been around for thousands of years, but we reached epidemic proportions in the early 1900s. The war had begun. The polio gang versus the homo sapiens. It was 1894 when we made our first strike in the US. 1905 when they found out our secret. We were contagious. It was 1908 when we were identified as poliovirus. 1931 when they proposed that there was more than one type of poliovirus in existence. Diversity. Ew. Fast forward a couple of decades and the war has slowed down. In 1994, the Western Hemisphere was certified polio free. It was the year 2000 when we saw a 99% reduction in polio cases. And two when we were eliminated from Europe. Now. 2018 and polio cases are kind of rare rather rare and they still exist take the countries of pakistan afghanistan nigeria for example the only three countries that have yet to stop the transmission of us we're powerful i'm a humble virus with a humble virus body i'm a non-enveloped virus i have an icosahedral capsid also i look like a sphere my virus body is small and simple and made up of a capsid, which is made up of protein, and inside my protein shell capsid is my inner core containing a single-stranded RNA molecule. Now you see here that RNA genome contains the formula to make polio babies. It's got the instructions for reproduction. It enters the cells and programs it to synthesize new virus particles, which are then released from the cell to go out and infect even more cells. Mecapsid also contains 60 copies of VP1, VP2, VP3, and VP4. Also, I don't have a lipid envelope. The story's over, no more? Okay, okay, now. Now look for my victim. No one is safe from the wrath of polio. The babies and the elderly are the most vulnerable. Anyway, this is Cardigan Backyard again. Cardi B for short. She is my victim. Let the infection begin. Us polio spread via the fecal oral route, so uh, when the stool of an infected person is introduced into the mouth of another homo sapien through contaminated food or water. So, you know, naturally, there I was, sitting in a contaminated meatball sub in the taftateria. Cardi B took a bite. My journey begins. Nothing has happened yet. Because the incubation period is 6 to 20 days. I'm getting impatient. I want to kill Cardi B. I have to wait to strike though. I'm traveling to the digestive system. Because of my structure, I can take the acidity of that homo sapien's stomach. To cope with my boredom, I download Geometry Dash and Candy Crush. I also rewatch this. I've arrived at the intestine. The time has come to strike. To infect. I make polio babies. AKA, I reproduce my RNA genome, building up my army to cover the more ground. I wait. I spend the day with my army of children. Cardigan Backyardigan will suffer soon. Only about 25 to 30% of infected people develop any apparent symptoms. Cardi B is one of those people. See here, fellows. There's uh, three kinds of polio infections when we're talking about symptoms. 
and mild case of polio. Flu-like symptoms like fever, headache, and sore throat develop three to five days after infection. In a more serious case, several days after the flu-esque symptoms, stiffness in the back of the back or neck has been listed as symptoms, but not paralysis. In the most severe form of polio, people develop paralysis in addition to the flu-like symptoms of the stiffness. We'll see what happens to Cardi B. Cardi B developed a headache during Human Geo, went home early after throwing up and complained to her mother about her sore throat. The war has begun. Continue our expedition. We spread out, rolling out from the intestine and progressing to the spinal cord. We rest for the night. Her neck is stiff. Her back is stiff. Her hair is styled today. She's probably missing all her schoolwork at Calm Arts, but she's going to be very behind. She describes her symptoms to Harry Styles. Harry Styles, in order to diagnose her, takes a blood test, performs a spinal tap, and tests on a sample of a throat secretion. Harry Styles confirms that she has been infected by the polio virus. The only treatment he can recommend is rest and drugs to relieve pain and to treat her fever. Because here's the underlying issue with this. There is no cure for polio. There is no cure for polio. We've begun our attack on her brain. The effects are evident. With paralysis, the muscles in the legs and arms are made limp and unable to contract. What is affected by paralysis depends on which parts of the nervous systems are affected, though. In Cardi B's case, not only were her arms and legs paralyzed, but the muscles in her chest that help her breathe were, too. Paralysis is permanent. Cardi B's life has changed forever. Our Cardigan Backyardigan has passed away. Because of the fact that the parts of her brain that were responsible for her breathing were infected, she could no longer breathe. Polio can be fatal. Cardigan Backyardigan was the worst-case example. The lesson to take away from this homo sapiens is that you should get vaccinated. There's two types of vaccines that are available. The South vaccine, an inactivated poliovirus vaccine, which is injected into the body, and the Sabin-Sabin vaccine, a live poliovirus vaccine, which is taken orally. Get vaccinated, kids.